Shrek the Third is a movie that exists. Look, I'm not gonna echo what everyone else has said about this film because, yeah, I think you all know that this film just sort of exists and it's the worst Shrek movie to date. I wouldn't say I hate this film, but man, what a forgettable story this was. Funny thing though, aside from both Puss in Boots movies, this is the only Shrek film I've actually seen in theaters. Yeah, I didn't see Shrek 1, 2, or even 4 in theaters. Nah. This was the only one I ever saw in theaters. It was nice at least, since we rented a whole theater out for a friend's birthday party. That's probably the reason why I'm a little bit nicer to this film than most people. But anyways, you're here for the video game, so what's it all about? Well for one, this is the first DreamWorks game on the 7th generation of consoles. So while it did still come to the PS2 and PC like usual, it also came to the Wii and Xbox 360, heck it even got forwarded to the PSP. And I should also note that it did come to the DS and would also be the final DreamWorks game to be on the GBA. But like the other games I've talked about previously, I'll save these unique versions for another time. The developers for this one was Amaze Entertainment, who we've seen do a few DreamWorks games before, although I should also note that they also had help from Seven Studios, Shaba Games, and Xpec Entertainment. Otherwise, Amaze Entertainment was the main central developers for this game. I actually have a little bit of history with this one. I played this game on the Wii when I was little. It came in one of those generic GameStop cases, and that's all I really remembered about this one. No, seriously, I don't recall my experience at all with it. I don't even remember how far I got into it. But today, we're gonna see what this game is all about and see whether or not it holds up. Also, in terms of which version I'm playing, I'm mainly gonna stick to the Xbox 360 version just for better video footage. Although, I did play a little bit of the Wii version too, just out of curiosity. Well, nothing else to say, so let's get into it. Firstly, I gotta say, this opening goes so hard. I'm serious, they did not need to start this game off with such an awesome opening. So, of course, it follows the events the movie as you might expect. I do like these little puppet cutscenes they have, it's really creative and cute. The only big deviations from the film are these ice mountains you go to to complete Artie's quest, and you also accidentally end up in some weirder locations like the Evil Queen's castle or Stromboli's workshop. Again, like the Shrek 2 game, I always do appreciate when a licensed game tries to expand the world of the show or movie it's based off of, and it also applies here too. I wouldn't say the story is still that great, I mean it's still the same plot as the film, but I appreciate the game still trying to expand the world a lot more. But man, these in-game models look awful. Everyone just looks so off in this game. Shrek looks like he's high, Donkey looks bored, Puss in Boots looks like he's seen some stuff, and everyone else just has this bored look to them. Plus, look at the animations. It's so lifeless. Everyone just stands there in the cutscenes, and they barely emote anything. Even during the actual game, the animations are still very off looking. Look, I'm not gonna act like Shrek 2's game looked amazing, but there, the characters actually emoted. They don't feel so static like they do in this game. They actually had energy to them. I mean, look at Shrek's animation in a cutscene from Shrek 2, and then look how he is in Shrek the Third. He's so much more static compared to Shrek 2. I will say the environments do look really nice, especially on the Xbox 360, and the voice acting is still pretty good like in Shrek 2. But man, I just hate how these models look. Even on just 360, the models still look awful. I unfortunately couldn't remember most of the music. The only ones I really liked were the main menu theme, which is legit fantastic. I, I actually really love this theme. And the music that plays in the opening. Otherwise, it's not bad music at all, just I couldn't really remember much. So what's the game like? Well, it's another 3D beat-em-up. It's not a co-op campaign, instead it's single player only. Aside from the side modes, of course. Your goal is, well, beat up enemies and get to the end. Pretty simple. You'll be in control of six different characters depending on the level. 
You got Shrek, Donkey, Puss in Boots, Fiona, Sleeping Beauty, and finally Artie. The controls do feel pretty good, and I will say, I do like that this game is much faster than Shrek 2 was. It's nowhere near as slow. That, I really appreciate. It's a pretty simple combat system. You got your normal combos, but you also have a few special attacks, like for Shrek and Fiona, they can slow down time, kind of like Fiona's move from Shrek 2. That's actually a nice callback. You also have your finishing moves, and that's pretty much it. If you played any other beat-em-up, you should be able to get into this fine. I do like that the characters do feel distinct enough from each other. If I had to pick my favorite, it'd probably be Fiona, with Shrek being in close second. I didn't like playing as Donkey at all, I just didn't like how he played. Artie and Sleeping Beauty were okay, and Puss in Boots was decent. The enemy variety is alright too. You fight bandits, pirates, witches, trees, ice dragons, and so on. Yeah, not a bad variety at all. There's also only a couple of bosses, but some of them are pretty decent, I guess. Like this dragon you fight in the ice mountains. So I mean, the game works and functions just fine. It does set out what it wants to do. It's a perfectly playable game, but the thing is... This game is so boring and forgettable. The combat is not fun. Sure, there is variety in the enemies, but that doesn't change the fact that the combat, while it does function, is so boring. It's not exciting at all. Every time I got into a fight, I was literally on autopilot the whole time. Just going through the motions, not feeling anything during these fights. It's not because the combat isn't deep, I'm okay with a simplified combat system. Look at something like Over the Edge. That also had a very simple combat system. Heck, it was even simpler than this game. But in Over the Hedge, the fights felt exciting and frantic. Your attacks were loud and crazy. It made the fights really fun because they were exciting. In Shrek the Third, there's no energy to these fights. They all just feel like you're just mashing action figures together. There's no impact to your moves, it just feels like there's no excitement, no pizzazz to any of these fights. And then we have the actual levels, and these are so forgettable. I guess the ice mountains and a few of the villain layers you go to stand out a bit, but even still, the level design is just not interesting at all. You're just moving forward, maybe occasionally finding some collectibles on the way, but otherwise the level design design is just a straight line. You don't platform much, you don't solve puzzles or do any major objectives along the way. You just head forward, fight enemies, and that's it. And yes, I know beat-em-ups are like this too, but not to this level of monotony. Oh, and I didn't even mention this big problem I encountered while playing through this game. And that's the fact that when I was playing this on the 360, it legit refused to save my progress as I went on. Yeah, at one point, the game just refused to save my progress. It may say at the bottom that it was saving my game, but no, it keeps glitching out and refusing to save. And before you ask, no, this is not my Xbox 360's fault. Every other DreamWorks game I've recorded after this game for future videos didn't have this issue whatsoever. They all saved perfectly fine. Fine. This game though, nope, it keeps glitching out for me, so that meant I had to marathon through 80% of the entire game without taking a break. And let me tell you, doing that for a game that is this boring and forgettable, yeah, that kinda really taints my already boring experience with this game even further. Again, maybe it was just this copy of the game I had. But still, that was awful. I will say, the Wii version I played for a bit didn't seem to have this issue, so that's good. Again, I didn't play much of the Wii version because, well, I don't really like this game. But I mean, this version is passable, I guess. The motion controls don't feel that great, but everything else functions just fine, I guess. Outside of the campaign, there is a bunch of extras you can unlock, including costumes, concept art, commentary for the levels, although it's not the typical commentary from the developers, it's this weird conversation between the characters that don't really have anything to do with the level you're in. It's very weird. <laughs> Not flattering at all. She is an evil queen. What would you expect? Michelangelo? Look, just because you're evil doesn't mean you have to have bad taste. That's all I'm saying. The 
were a few mini games in the story that you come across. They were okay, I guess. I kind of like the slingshot one you do. You also have the multiplayer mode, but I didn't really play much of it because after I finished this game, I just wanted to be done with it. And that also meant I didn't get to play that weird dream level with Shrek. I'm sorry, I just couldn't care after finishing this game. Look, I'm not going to act like there weren't any positives this game had because it does have good elements to it. The opening, like I said, is fantastic. I love the main menu theme. The puppet cutscenes are really cute. The voice acting is good. There were a couple times the dialogue was pretty funny. I also appreciate the expanded story. The environments look really nice. And, uh... Skipper's cameo was pretty epic. We're going to the wide open spaces of Antarctica. To the wild. In fact, that was probably my favorite part of the whole game. Everything else, though... I don't like the core gameplay, I think the combat is legit one of the most boring combat systems I've ever played in a game. The level design is completely forgettable, legit. I don't think I can remember a single stage in this game aside from the first level and maybe one of the locations that weren't in the movie. Otherwise, the level design is so boring. I also hate how all the characters look in this game. The animations are just bad. And worst of all, that nasty saving glitch that just tanked my entire experience down even further. After I finished playing through this game, I didn't feel mad or disappointed or anything like that. I just felt nothing. This game is just a nothing experience from beginning to end. It functions and there are a handful of bright spots here and there, but otherwise this game just felt like a nothing experience and after I finished it, I pretty much forgot everything about it. Writing for this video, by the way, was so hard. Just because I have almost nothing interesting to say about it. It's hard to talk about what this game even is. Heck, that's literally the only reason I played a little bit of the Wii version. Just so I can have more stuff to say about it. This game is so boring, so uninteresting and just forgettable and it's just such a nothing experience that it's not even fun to talk about at all. You know, I didn't like the Shark Tale console game at all, but it was way more fun to talk about than this. No way would I recommend this game. I don't know if I can say it's the worst DreamWorks game I've played for this marathon, but this was just such a nothing experience and to be honest, depending on how you look at it, that might be worse. So yeah, now I can see why I didn't remember anything from when I played it as a kid. It's so forgettable. Well, there was one more thing I did notice about this game. It has a demo for the B-movie game, so I guess that's our next DreamWorks video. Hopefully it'll be way better than this. If you like this video, give it a like, and if you're new here to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Plus, let me know if you've played Shrek the Third's game, and what'd you think of it? Who knows, maybe one of you saw something in this game I couldn't. Well, I hope you all have an amazing day, and take care. Bye!